Hello and welcome to a little tiny game dev video because I am going to quickly answer some issues that user Zero had on YouTube regarding um, an old video I had uh, talking about the player controller and the movement scripts in my game that I'm currently working on. Um, basically, the issue they're having with uh, the character walking up the slopes in this video here was that when they reach the top and they hit a wall, uh, the player keeps going and they kind of bounce off of it and makes them jump. Um, I can see why the issue might be happening. It just happened to me for one second there. Um, kind of inheriting the momentum of the movement of the steps and uh, moving that in the Z direction of the player characters. Um, move direction uh, object that you can see on the left in the hierarchy that's nested within the player. So basically... Um, the character is inheriting the momentum and you can see the blue z-axis of that uh, object um, it wants it to keep going forward so it's basically forcing you upward into the into this wall and the reason it's happening to a lesser degree with me here right now is that i have a script um, in place that is um, taking the angle between me and this wall and it is um, lowering my movement speed or at least enacting less force on the rigid body character controller so that I can't move as much when I'm hitting an angle or hitting a wall directly on like that. Um, I would recommend implementing something like that and you can find it in this video here. Um, I don't know if I can still put little links on the videos but if I can I will. If not uh, the link for any video I mention uh, is in the description of this video. Um, another suggestion I might uh, give is I can see here that it happens like this, but if I turn, it's also happening. And the reason it only happens when I turn here is because of that script I just mentioned. But what one might uh, consider to fix that is possibly just um, zeroing out the move direction object when something like that happens. Like if you are detecting um, an object at the top of a slope like that, I would mess around with how um, the move direction object and how the slope angles and all those things in the script handle um, being sent over to the main controller. So um, when the character controller interprets that over here in the script, uh, this section here where the move vector reference is being set to um, the Euler angles of that reference we've set um, minus the forward angle and later on in the Z axis uh, plus the right angle. When it's taking that information, the forward angle and right angle, um, let's say wherever we got that from, which I know is in the ground detection script. If I go over there, um, we're having it set here, vector three angle of the, um, between these several other kind of forward angles and the normals. Um, when we are grabbing it from there, we might want to zero it out uh, based on that condition. Um, that would probably be the best way to handle this. And also in tandem with that kind of script, it slows you when you hit a wall like that. Um, other than that, I'm not seeing a big issue with it because I've already solved the um, walking directly into the wall, uh, launching you up. Um, another interesting and nice little part that comes with um, that running into the wall script, if I actually lower this wall, it's a little too high. But um, if you haven't noticed, we're not getting... A lot of friction when I walk into the wall like that. Um, if you just use a normal rigid body controller, um, your character's going to get caught on the wall and you're not going to be able to jump on something like this. So that's also in that video that I mentioned. Um, other than that, I'm not really sure uh, currently how one would uh, go about fixing that, but this seems like the best solution. Um, I could also go into the actual script really quick and see uh, what we can find out there. So I'm going to go there. Um, we're just going to take a quick look at the ground ray script and that uh, wall detection thing. So um, something that's different from when we set it up before, I changed to a sphere cast instead of a ray cast. And I specifically did that so that um, the determining factor for whether or not a character is grounded or should start falling or gravity should start acting on it. I believe the ray below it should be at least as big as the character and not just a single ray shooting down. So now I have a sphere cast that's about the radius of the character controller. So that's pretty much the only reason the sphere cast is there. Um, it shoots it down. 
Uh, if it detects ground, then it is going to add that distance to an array, or maybe it's a list. Uh, no, add, so I guess it's an array. Um, it's going to add that to that array, and then we are going to, if we don't detect any ground, we're going to set all those to zero. Just like how I said, we might want to do that if we detect a forward kind of um, slope that we're hitting. Uh, if ground was detected above here, that's actually kind of misleading. I'll probably redo that note. That kind of implies that the ground is above the character, but it's saying above in the script. So that's kind of funny. Um, so the, all those things are being set depending on those angles. And you've all seen that in the video that I had earlier that I uploaded about a year ago. Um, it's finding the closest um, distance. If we If that closest distance is shorter than the raycast length then it's forcing the player up a bit um that's basically all the same there isn't any issues here that i can think of um if we go to the wall detection script this wall check script is basically um getting the angle between the player walking forward and um and the wall and making sure that um if it is a certain um angle it's into wall is set to true and we are multiplying the kind of movement speed based on that. If the uh, player is walking into the wall and the angle between their forward vector and the wall is 90 degrees, so they're walking perfectly dead on, um, their movement is going to be changed to zero. And we want this only to apply to regular walls, so we detect for a rigid body. If there's no rigid body, then we will set it to zero. Um, the reason we do that is because we want the character to be able to push boxes and stuff like that. Um, other than that, I would say this does a decent job of stopping that kind of flying and jumping thing from happening. It's still going to happen at a slight angle, but that's a very specific thing built into the game. Or not built into the game, because I'm not talking about anything that's really reestablished here. This is something that I'm working on. Um, that could be solved by kind of increasing the intensity of this script and how it affects the speed. Or like I said earlier, uh, zeroing out that um, character angle thing. So, basically, those are my only thoughts on that. Unfortunately, I'm not going to touch this movement script for a while longer. I'm trying to get all the weapon stuff working. Um, if I come up with any updates or any kind of solution for that, I'll definitely let you know. Uh, thanks for asking a question earlier on the video. Hopefully, this has been somewhat helpful. I know I haven't really solved the issue that much. Again, videos are in the description for um, kind of potential solutions for that. And thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.